everyone here at Spring Comdex. Who do we have here? Well, loads of exhibitors, as you can see. Here's Canon and others showing off their color printers. We have Leading Edge with new 486 desktop color notebooks. Over here, Zenith showing off their new Zeno color laptops, getting lots of attention. Uh, right over here, we have IBM and OS2 and another building all together. Tons of Windows applications. This Comdex, which is a battle of operating systems. WordPerfect is everywhere when you can run WordPerfect, regardless of what operating system you use. There are over 900 exhibitors here, 70,000 people attending. It gets very difficult to separate the wheat from the chaff, the technology breakthrough from the overhyped vaporware. So to help get started, we'll talk to an expert and get the opinion of Stuart Alsop, computer industry analyst and editor. Alsop is editor-in-chief of InfoWorld magazine. In his view, IBM's new multimedia platform was the headline at this Comdex. Probably one of the more interesting things is, is IBM's announcement uh, of, a, of a new platform, the multimedia platform, where they started talking about having a, a certain level of machine, and that level of machine, you know, is capable of running OS2, which takes a lot of disk space and memory and, and so on and so forth. But more interesting is that the, the base level machine, the LT Media machine, is, is capable of running video. And so they have this software-only decompression of video that's very interesting because uh, everybody knows that Apple's been doing a big deal with the Macintosh and QuickTime and, and, and making a big deal out of video. Uh, but when you sit there in front of a Macintosh, you get this tiny little two-inch screen and, um, that runs kind of slow and it's kind of jerky if you don't get everything right. Just right. IBM's now able to demonstrate a screen that's about twice as big it's higher resolution and more colorful, and that's steady on a regular basis. In portable computers, Alsop says the most interesting part of Comdex was the introduction of color notebooks. Color probably is the big, the big story here in the notebook uh, category. Um, it's still relatively expensive. It takes relatively more power, so it shortens the battery life, and it, and it compromises the functionality of, of notebooks. But I, uh, my feeling is that Zenith has really uh, scored the best here. You know, there's always one company that kind of stands out in the show. Uh, I, I like their uh, Zeno uh, 386 LT, um, which is a relatively lightweight, you know, well-powered uh, machine that has a nice, crisp color display uh, for only $5,000. Um, and, and so I think they've scored the best. The big headline out of Comdex was the introduction of Windows 3.1, but also said that the PR spin was more than a fact would justify it. Windows 3.1 is amounts to something more than a bug fix of Windows 3.0. Um, I, I mean, I don't want to be negative about it, because it is a, a fine product, but it fixes holes in Windows rather than advancing things in a major way. So I don't think it's going to change you know, the acceptance of Windows. It'll make it a little more acceptable in corporations, and people will have an easier time using it, and you won't get unrecoverable application errors all the time, uh, and so on and so forth. But it just enhances the experience as opposed to changing for the Computer Chronicles, I'm Janelle Stelson. To get a visitor's attention at a trade show the size of Comdex is a difficult task, usually requiring some special gimmicks. In Comdex, exhibitors try anything. In fashion shows, to stand up comics. They okay, were magicians, giant computers, giant dinosaurs, and raffles for free software. And some vendors hinted that their product could survive a disaster by barbecuing a computer. Certainly a new definition of multimedia. Multimedia is the buzzword in the computer industry this year, and indeed at this spring comdex from Intel's DVI to full motion video boards, from television production packages to multimedia presentation programs, it's hard now to tell a PC from a Macintosh or an Amiga. The multimedia showcase at Comdex was an impressive display of the technology that allows users to combine audio, video, photos, computer graphics, and text into one application. Multimedia applications have been around for years, but there hasn't been much of a market for them, at least not yet. Microsoft Rich Tong says this is the year of real multimedia products. Well, you have to understand that tech technology evolves very gradually. And three or four years ago, the first hardware was coming out. The first applications were just being developed. Now I think we're really at the start of a big wave. Multimedia is going to make it much easier to learn things. It's going to make it much easier to um, educate 
children, for instance, we're going to make, actually make it a lot more fun to use computers overall. And now we're seeing the first set of applications of hardware that can actually take advantage of multimedia. But probably the key thing there is the standardization of the hardware. Cardinal Technologies' Harold Kroll disagrees with Tom and says multimedia developers do not have to wait for the standardization of hardware. I think the developers have a clear enough path to begin to develop serious uh, software and, and hardware, and so do the uh, users. I think the users can get such tremendous benefits out of this technology, uh, paybacks uh, as short as a few months in some cases, that uh, they would be uh, ill-advised to wait for, uh, in some respects, the standards will evolve forever. With marketable multimedia applications still slow to develop, Kroll is looking for that one big application that will jumpstart the industry. I might say years ago when RCA pioneered broadcasting, the uh, thing that turned out to, to get radio going was a prize fight in Hackensack, New Jersey, which was not what the uh, company had in mind. Uh, I mean, they were trying to sell cultural enrichment and so forth, that it was the prize fight that made radio the success it was. And we're, we, we, keep, we keep looking for a prize fight in this business. While multimedia was a major theme of this Comdex show, two of the major players who have touted their computers as multimedia platforms were absent from this convex, Apple and Commodore. But IBM, not well known in the past for its multimedia commitment, changed the name to Ultimedia and used the technology to demonstrate OS 2 version 2. IBM also demonstrated new multimedia touchscreen terminals to help video customers choose films. The terminal offers a description of the movie, a composite of critics' reviews, and you can watch a 30-second preview much like the ones shown before feature films in movie theaters. Currently, the IBM technology is being used in several blockbuster video stores in Boca Raton, Florida. Plans are underway for more than 3,000 blockbuster stores nationwide to use the new multimedia technology. Gold Disc demonstrated a software package called Animation Works Interactive that is a new easy-to-use multimedia authoring tool. With Animation Works, any Windows user can create multimedia presentations. Animation Works Interactive lets you combine and sequence moving text, graphics, and video with sound and push-button interactivity on your PC. A free runtime player module allows other users to play your presentations without having to own the whole program. Animation Works Interactive is selling for less than $500. If you want to do professional-looking video editing on your PC, Matrox Electronic Systems from Canada demonstrated their Matrox Studio. It's a video post-production system on five boards which fit into an ESA PC. The Matrox Studio includes the Matrox Personal Producer Application Software. It's an ABC roll system that allows video effects and transitions on up to five layers of video and graphics at once. The price for the Matrox Studio is not cheap. It costs $15,000 this is still a fraction of what it would cost to put together a similar editing system at a traditional video production house. One of the biggest booths at the multimedia showcase portion of Convex belonged to Cardinal Technologies, which was exhibiting along with its Japanese partner, Fuji. Cardinal is best known for its modems, but here at Convex, they were emphasizing their new multimedia technology. The Cardinal Snap Plus Board is a simple add-on for your PC that turns it into a video machine Super VGA Graphics. Demonstrated here with Mathematica's Tempra software, the Snap Plus card lets Windows users view, capture, edit, and record video stills in your PC from any source format. The Cardinal board also includes a Genlock that syncs external video to your system. We're Genlocked, uh, uh, and we're also able to synthesize audio inside the computer, uh, which can then be recorded outside in a conventional uh, analog recording uh, system. So we have a full uh, bi-directional bridge of anything in a, audio and video in and out of the computer. And this is a, a able, we can do this at affordable cost. The Snap Plus board sells for less than $1,300. Cardinal and Fuji also demonstrated two other new multimedia products that let you use a digital still camera to input color photos into a PC application. Up until now, the giant file size of color photos made this difficult the Cardinal has solved the problem using a new file compression technology. One of the special tricks is called the image compression. We have technology that compresses the images uh, up to 24 to 1 today and, and in the future much more. 
but all of this has been done in hardware and, and software, and the user doesn't need to worry about how this is done. The Comfix Compression Decompression Adapter compresses the video image 20 to 1. That lets you fit color images on a single hard drive. This specialized image memory card drive also lets you store the color image as a file, which can then be instantly sent online to another PC anywhere in the world. Next up, new color notebook computers on this Convex Special.